Okay, now that we've got this in progress, who should I look at? Moses. Stand up. Stand up. Now, SMD to SMD. This is an And learn those who are training who are associates here. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Moses, your next thing. Uh, thank you all uh, for grace this occasion. I know I mean it's a tight schedule you all have. You spend your time. And so you are a special people. We start a very special cause in the world. The milestone was celebrated for Michael uh, is the highest in our organization. Hey, that's what it means. Now uh, <laughs> we are here at Civil Coast. You are on a very special occasion and you are very special people. Ooh. Now, back to Michael. We have to celebrate you and we have to talk about you. Moses, I came in the business before you forget. Mm. And uh, when Ruth introduced me to the business, me and her, I mean, we, we, we took me through what to do, and I made a decision. But I must say that uh, ever since you built the business, even though I was in the business longer than you, I'm actually doing that to you. So that alone is uh, humbling. You know, to look up to somebody who built the business, the way they do their things. And uh, I appreciate this. Uh, first, uh, second thing, you, you, you make my work easy in the community. Because you, you are touching so many people's lives with uh, your education. And so, the time we go to them, maybe they have a while to work with this kind of social standard. So we just add them to what you are talking about. For you, in most cases. So you make a lot easy. And uh, outside there, you don't know which team you belong to or any team you belong to. It's just one community, value school community, financial literacy campaign community. And we are all one big, proud family. So, Michael, thank you so much for that and keep it up. Uh, okay, we love you too. I mean, so I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Right, thank you. So, uh, Michael, don't even look on the screen. I want to see myself. No, <laughs> you'll see yourself later. Just celebrate me. So, if I call on George, George, prepare your words very carefully. <laughs> I'm going to go to none other than Miss. Right. Yeah. This is my special sister. You see, you uh, for some of you who are familiar with Gacha, you are perhaps are familiar with Zambia Barracks. Like L -A -W. And uh, we, in Zambia Barracks generation, call each other very special. Ah. We are a unique breed of Ugandans. Really? Yes. Okay. And so I'm going to ask my sister, my special one. Uh, to say a word or two about my Lydia, my sister. Well, hi everyone. Hi. Woo. <laughs> 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 So my name is Alilian, uh, as our host in this series, Lilian Asiti, and my call is my SMD. Yes! You know what? I can take a whole night talking about my call, but because of time, I'll be so very brief. My call, you are a very rare person. Actually, um, I know we have this protocol that when you become, a, when you become an MD, like the guy, you have to put it to another person, but I wish 
I never get open steam. <laughs> <laughs> I wish my wish is granted. It is what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, you know what? My boy is not the time. Oh, you will push you. Like, <laughs> if you tell him you have a dream, he's going to yeah. push you to the dream. Hmm? Even at midnight, Sorry. at six in the wow, morning, yeah. he'll call you. When the seven o'clock is going on, like the reading club, Vivian, where are you? Are you on? At midnight, Vivian, are you okay? I mean, yeah, even when you have a question, regardless of your time, the Michael will answer your call. No wonder. One, no, he always has nobody on his phone. Hmm. Michael, we appreciate that. We appreciate the fact that you have made us who we are today. You have made us fall in love with hope and families. You are so compassionate. You are so very patient. You are really, really patient with everyone. I'm not seeing so many people here today. I know they are on Zoom. We really celebrate you, Michael. And we pray that may you go to greater heights. Yeah. May you be simple or if you see sooner than a man. I know you can do it. You can do it because the order is coming and because of the tumor. I know to get there in the same one. Michael, with the happy that you have, you can do it. Keep on being compassionate. Keep doing what you do. We love you and we shall always pray for you for more and greater years. Thank you very much. Wow. 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 No, 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 no. I told you, some your kids are what? A real breed. Okay. So when she starts to speak, it's like Barack Obama is speaking in her. <laughs> Thank you, Lillian. You make me proud. Now, George, I'm coming your way. <laughs> George, the microphone is yours tonight. Tell us, Michael, even if you just met him a second ago, give us the speech. Oh, dear. <laughs> Good evening, I'm George. Hello, George. Hi, George. Hello. It's so nice to be here, and uh, I'm glad to have everybody be here for this event. Mm -hmm. One thing that struck me is the camaraderie among all the people are so loving and Smiling yes. happy and together. Love you guys. Yeah, you guys. You know, I I work in a software company and we don't I don't see this fellowship among us. We are, we, are, we do our own pretty thing and <laughs> keep ourselves. There's not much of interaction no. or much of love and all the stuff, but it's really nice to see you guys. And I don't know. Much about all you, I've seen Michael a couple of times. What has impressed me is his personality, his ability to talk, ability to hold the audience together, mm -hmm. to charm them with a smile and with the words and everything. So, wonderful. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. You see, you get love you from George. Isn't that special? <laughs> Thank you, George. Um, so, like I say, I'm glad everyone has been executing the brief. And uh, I appreciate that. Now, who has the most? Okay, before can you come? I am going to go to Norway. Pere, don't tell me where to go. Pere, you see, you are in trouble for us. So, how many of you know? Uh, okay, without. If you are from Uganda, do not even try to miss a word. To go say word. How many of you know the meaning of Jaja except Kanika? <laughs> How many of you know the word Jaja? George, you're in trouble. <laughs> Sophie, Sophie you knows. Oh, Sophie knows. No Sophie knows. <laughs> so it's only George who is in trouble. <laughs> so George, Jaja is. A special word. Uh, it means uh, one grandparent, but most importantly, it means wisdom. Uh, it means somebody who is collected, uh, resourceful, because uh, of course, old age comes with wisdom, which means you become a resource. You see, in the African tradition, we never had libraries, we never had books. So, grandparents were a resource 
information. And so in our organization, we have a judge, and that is none other than Michelle Song.
Now, uh, after you guys, I don't want to repeat what you have said. Let me read what Kapalaga means. Oh. Is it on? Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And the whole time we used to, to as a joke, like, you Kapalaga boy, I used to think somebody who is big headed and unruly and uncontrollable, but it means different, actually. Okay? So here is what your name means. And seriously, the whole world, I don't know who gave you this name. Who gave you your name? So let me read you what the name Kapalaka means. You are a free spirit, a spirit. You love change, adventure, and excitement. You love your freedom. Like a bird that needs its wings to live, you cannot exist without it. Freedom is the um, nucleus around which your life revolves. You need it for your every survival. By using freedom properly, you are able to explore without all your various talents. You will meet many types of people and travel great distances. You like to live a stable, well-organized life. You dislike sudden changes. You prefer order lines in all things. You have a systematic mind that is reflected in everything you do. You can establish and maintain a routine. You are exciting. You are exacting with details and quite, quite through. You like to carefully analyze a problem and then tackle it in a logical and practical approach. You want to be dependent, dependable, a role of strength, an example of discipline for others. Exactly. You radiate with the dynamic and efficient energy. You appear controlled and capable. You value courage and effort in the face of difficulties and those qualities show. Others can sense that you will not be pushed around. You should be stressed, addressed in a dignified uh, correct manner, caring for the details of your appearance while you, uh, you may um, while you may spend most of your time in staying business dressed or suits, bright, cheerful colors work well for you to get money. Okay, that may not be a... <laughs> that, means, that means you have to start wearing jackets. <laughs> let me tell you. So that is just about you and what you do for others is, is exactly. So you come around and change my life. You turn my business around. I really, really deeply love you so much because that's what all you give out, like with all your heart. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Now, how about if we hear from this? Nami Limu. Now, for some of you who do not know Nami Limu, most of you. Okay, everyone starts speaking and going to start speaking. Has everyone stopped? Yes, now. So, for some of you, or most of you know, okay, some of you know Kanika as Kanika. Some. This lady here has been a uh, force to record. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, because she became a Ugandan. We gave her a name. So, George, you're not seated with somebody from anywhere. She's a Ugandan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and in Africa, we gave her a name, Nami Limu, meaning she's a hard worker. And that makes her my sister because Nami Limu is from my clan. Uh -huh. So, Miss Nami Limu. I'd like to invite you to say a word or two about her. Good morning. Good morning. It's always good morning in WSB. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, um, you know, I always express value in Tamil. Probably can't let it be, but um, anyhow, uh, I think everyone has spoken. To all the words in the dictionary, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I think uh, what anyone has not spoken is that 
it doesn't mean I don't see it. It just means that I'm observing and I'm making sure. The fact that I say something, every time you hear me say something, in that regard, just know I am saying this from the bottom of my heart. Everybody that knows me knows that about me. <laughs> Whatever that means, okay? Thank you. Okay, I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> so, uh, I'd like to, before I actually invite you, I'm going to say a word or two. I know I've been speaking, but you know, with me, I'm speaking with your friends, best friends. Wow. <laughs> By your good speaker, though. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mukwana. You can speak anytime you want. Anytime I want. Thank you. Oh, Mukwana says I can speak anytime I want because I'm a good speaker. Sure. That means everybody enjoys that. As long as she enjoys, everyone enjoys my speaking. So, um, for the new team members, I want you to learn one thing tonight. I, I think that this organization is about community. And uh, what that means for us is that whatever you learn, you must be willing to share. And, uh, okay? And uh, that whatever role you play in the organization, there are a lot of people who are coming and looking for somebody who is going to give them a reason to stick around. And so everything you do matters for everybody and to everybody. And uh, in that regard, I, I, a lot of my teammates really tell me what to do for them. And I really want to approve you for that. Uh, because when we are looking for leaders in the organization, we are looking for leaders with whom we are going to liberate these responsibilities and we've played a critical role in that endeavor. Sure. I want to thank you so much. And uh, I know it is your praise day, but we are not praising, we are just telling you. Unfortunately, we are just telling you. Uh, the praising will come at some point, not tonight. Uh, uh, so I'd like you to not, of course, appreciate yourself, but thank people who have come tonight. <laughs> so take a moment, a minute, to say thank you to everyone that is here tonight. Yes, thank you. And, uh, Michael, I know if I don't tell you, you have, to, but tonight is your night. But don't take 30 minutes. Mm. Actually, take me five minutes. He's going to talk to himself. Why? We love you, Michael. SMD. SMD. Uh, hi, everyone. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. I don't really have a lot of English. No. Oh. Um, but um, I'm going to use whatever I have. First of all, thank you for coming. Thank you to the Lord. Um, you know, for enabling me to reach this, um, this point. Of course, this is not just a celebration, but um, it's, it's an achievement that you simply don't, you know, they, they, they don't just give it to you. You definitely work for it. Sure. So I thank the Lord who has uh, enabled me to do that. Two, I want to thank Ruth for giving me an opportunity to be part of this great organization. Like I normally say, I met Ruth on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. And um, she had posted that, uh, something that I really thought related to me. Because um, in Uganda, I had an organization, um, a heart complications organization helping kids with heart complications. And then I had a school, but I had only worked two jobs. One, I was a musician. Two, I was a radio DJ. Since my, you know, high school vacation. So that's all I knew 
in my life. Coming to America, I came to perform and go back. I came to perform on the Ugandan convention and go back. But then, Bobby Wine, Uganda's biggest opposition leader, who is supposed to be president. Who was cheated? Mike. Oh, this is my part of the candle. <laughs> I want to speak as when I still have the network. <laughs> Sister, you're welcome. You look gorgeous. Oh. Yeah. Actually, Michael decided he wants to pause so Sister can say a word. Yeah, Everyone so has good. been speaking. You are, you are Michael's SMD. Yeah, you know. <laughs> you know, I'm going to pass a word. When Sisi had just trained this business, I asked her what level she was. She said she was at the same working to become an FAD associate. I know. <laughs> I know. 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 I wondered who is this lady who wants in reverse <laughs> from SMD to a trainee associate. <laughs> so, first and foremost, you look elegant. Wow. 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 At first, I didn't even realize it was sin. So, since uh, tonight, everyone has said the word about Michael. At the time you came on, Michael was speaking. But because you came, we are going to give you the opportunity to say a word about Michael from the bottom of your heart. Thank you, everyone. Well, you look good. <laughs> you look good too. I'm so sorry, uh, I'm late. I had a wedding for my friends. Well, yeah, uh, you look to be a mogole. You look like you were. <laughs> um, I have a lot to say about my God. Um, but I want to start with the Lord. <laughs> um, I remember well, yes. the first time oh, Lord. <laughs> Um, came to my friend's house. I went there um, just to visit, and I was gonna stay the whole night. I was from work, and they came. They were starting telling us about this business. I didn't pick the interest, but I was like, um, you know what? There's nobody who can come here for free. I don't wanna know what to teach, but I wanna know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> my intention is to get married. Yeah. So, how are you benefiting with that? Lord was like, if you want to know, come to the office. I was the first person to come. Yeah. She wasn't there, but I stayed until she came back. Uh, Moses told me all this time. So, I'm so grateful for you, Lord. Thank you very much. Now, to Michael. I don't know where to start and I mean, you, know, you, know, you, you have to you have two minutes because you're the last oh, I gave you more. I gave <laughs> you more. It's okay. okay. Don't be sorry. Michael. You have to. Michael used to uh text me every day. No. He's a man of text messages. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael. Every day was texting me. Sissy, can you go? Can you go? Can you go? I was like, okay, I will, I will. Um but I'm so, so glad for uh, Every time he posts, I'm always sure. Though I'm still quite tired, but still I'm going to make it to the whole time. Thank you so much. We can learn in part of success once. Now Michael can go into the show. He was not ready. I know, right? <laughs> so, um, Oh, okay. what? <laughs> that way I'm using. Yeah. Way. So I was a, I, I am a musician. And uh, that's what I I I can, you know, throughout my life. Now, when Moses, because Ruth uh, introduced me to Moses and Moses educated me, and nobody said this. I looked at him. He was so challenging. Because I really had had a tough time 
in my life, working some hard jobs that I wasn't used to, you know, trying to live a life and then I'm living another life in Uganda. I have, a, you know, I have kids, I have to look after them. So literally every penny that I am going, that I work is gone. I used to work three jobs, but I don't have any money. I don't have money now, but at least I have the hope. To me, that was very important. I needed the hope and freedom to understand that I can actually at one time I'm going to have money that I need and you know to me that, that that's all I needed. So when Moses and Ruth shared that to me, I looked at Moses, I asked him his name four times because I felt so challenged. Eventually I told him, I came with my cousin, she's at work. But she, uh, she has not joined me. I know she will. <laughs> but um, I, I told Moses, can you teach me this so that I can teach it to the community, the Ugandan community? Because I realized my situation. You are going to visit camera. I realized my situation is not only my situation. It is a situation of all my community. So I, I thought this is what I want to do. By then, I had enrolled in a course called Health Informatics. I was going to study biology. <laughs> so I told Moses, when they were telling me to read for the license, I told them, okay, I really want to read, but I don't love biology and I have it in two weeks. I don't know it, I don't want, I don't like it, I hate it. I am a mathematician. He told me, no, oh, Ruth told me, you can do this in two weeks. I was like, you sure? Yeah. He said, okay, let me do it. Now, I did the exam I passed in two weeks. And then I went for biology. I didn't know biology. I never know biology. I will never know biology. <laughs> so I had to do the exams. My wife, who is in Uganda, is a medical person. So she did my exams, literally. <laughs> so I would screenshot send it to her, and then she sends me the answer, I feel it in. Now, I cheat, yeah. I, I got that on camera. <laughs> I cheat. So, I eventually, I thought, that this is not me. If, if I can't do this simple biology, then what am I going to do? I hate it, I don't like it. So, I said, you know what? I think this is what I need. I want to do. I quit my job because I hate being bossed around. Yes. I hate you telling me you're late when I have only five five minutes not on time. <laughs> that is not my like I that. am simply not on time when, when I have a <laughs> <laughs> So, when, when, you know, I used to work in Marble and I would drive because I told you I worked three jobs. So I would normally sleep at two and then wake up at five. So, that's why when, when you see me at the office, I used to put that time in someone else's, in some, somebody else's job to build their dream. Now I want to put the same time in my dream. Yeah. Because I used to work from five in the morning to two in the night. And I did spend money. I didn't have money. I don't have money, like I said, but I have a dream. 
and I know where I am going. I am on the course, I can see my course. That's why I'm very grateful for this uh, course. And that is why I'm very passionate. Not only here in America, I really want to extend this even to my country. Because once people get this, I told the Haman here, we are freedom fighters. We fight for, politi uh, for political freedom. We fight for human rights freedom. We fight for, you know, uh, what is it called? Speech of what? Freedom of speech. We fight for freedom of expression. Now, I also want to fight for financial freedom. That is, that is all. That is what drives me. When I go to educate, just like Moses said, I, I saw him today, I, I want the money. But that is not my primary goal. That is just, you know, money is just a byproduct. I really want someone to, I want to see someone change. Because I know that is when, you know, we can all together become successful. So I want to, to thank you, Ruth, uh, for giving me that opportunity. I want to thank BCFC. I know, right? I want to thank BCFC. BCFC gives you the, the, uh, the opportunity. Where I used to work in um, radio, I, I, I normally compare BCFC with Radio Simba. Radio Simba is where I worked for 10 years. And there is always that freedom, there is always that brotherhood. You feel you don't want to leave. Right? So you, Michelle and Tanika, you give us that freedom. You, you, you feel you want to be creative. You feel I want to come even tomorrow. Otherwise, if you were working in an environment where you don't feel loved, you don't want to come tomorrow. But BCFC Mamiroja gives us that, that environment of I want to come back the next day. I think that is very important. My team, of course, uh, Lillian, my ex here. <laughs> The husband is watching. My, my ex. Oh, yeah, I'm the ex. <laughs> my ex and my exes, all my team. <laughs> You're still my team. I know, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So you always come to me whenever you want something. I am your ex, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, of course, Sissy, we, 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 my, my current and my current Vivian <laughs> and all my current. I want to thank you for being a good team to work with. I know sometimes you give me a big head and, uh, you know. Always. Always. <laughs> but uh, that is what the business is about. It's about changing mindset. And I really want to be that person who everyone gets proud of. You are already there. So thank you, my team. Let's shoot for the highest for, for CDO and, and more. How my here is my best friend. So I was his best man on his way. But we only met with Haman in 2019. 2019. Um, 2019, yes. So I was introduced to Haman by the president himself, Bobby White. <laughs> he wanted me to work with him. I hate him, but I, I, had, <laughs> no, I had no choice. He's a, he's a young guy, but very compassionate, very, he, he really, I, I just really adore him. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I forced him to buy a policy. I told him I don't want to contribute on your own day. Your, and because you're my, I was the best <laughs> man at your wedding, People your wife is going to bring me your kids. 
I don't want to look after kids. <laughs> so you, you have to forcefully look after your kids when you're here and when you're <laughs> So I always the, the uh, Transamerica always goes to his bank. Uh -huh. He picks out money and he takes. And he comes. When, when, when he sign his policy and so, how much money? So he just what does this thing for me? And he's not even clear what he's saying. So yeah. Really yeah. Me. I think that is very important. Yeah. Now, his wife. His son, his uncle, I'm coming to your mother. <laughs> so I love you, uncle. And then um, one other person that will never forsake me is my wife. She's here on Zoom. Oh, she is. Hey. Oh, turn on your video. Florence. Is it Florence? Hey, Florence. Hey, Florence. Good night. She's a medical person. I send her. <laughs> she just she answers. She sends me. I just feel it. So she's very supportive. And, like um, that. Uh, I I spent four years without seeing her. Oh, dear. She sorry. has. Oh. Sorry. She's. Uh, <laughs> Can she share her baby? Yeah, she's looking after my kids. Oh dear. She has a kid that will never be. She has a kid who is three years and I've been in America four years. Is that your children? Hey, hey. Be careful what you say. I'm with the real. So, uh, she was pregnant when I left. Oh, wow. So, I never met that kid. But, you know, she's always trying and so I really appreciate her. Thank and you, Florence. Thank 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 you, Florence. So, um, to everyone else, uh, new teammates, Mami Sandida, Mami Moses, I am, I, I am pretty sure you're joining this team soon. Oh, he hasn't Is joined? Mr. Moses. Moses, uh, he, he, we just took to, uh, him through the presentation today. No, he can register before he goes. It's okay. You can do it over the phone. <laughs> Wanda, Moses, Moses, so, Wanda, Moses, register before you go. Okay? Moses, this 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 is um this is not limited to just the number of people. We what what I did to you or for you is what we want to do for everyone. Yes. And like they said, the rich club is still open. Always open. Always open. Just come in and let's continue. So with let's together. continue to share what, what, what we took in this group. And I know we have more lessons. So you can be part of this group. Like you see, this is a very small group. When you go down, there is a lot of people who we haven't met. So you can be part of this group. And then, you know, we share what we share with you. So thank you, everyone. I really love you. Thank you, Michael. Actually, uh, uh, thank you, Michael. Uh, but Mr. Moses, when you stood up to speak, Sunny, uh, the lady who was here, said you speak like Ganesha, which means your future. 
is in this organization. What she meant is like you speak like what Kapalaga has become. So I don't know why you are deterring the opportunity to become an SME. Yeah. So tonight, before you leave, I would like you to do one thing. Register and figure everything out. Are we, are we clear? <laughs> and then, after registering, I would like you to register also for Texas. We are going to Texas on July 25th. I just got Mr. Sandra excited about it. Where is Moses? He's on the phone? Okay, I want to make sure that all of you are registered for Texas because you're going to be close to my room. My room, then one of you is going to be inside, the other one, the other side. Why not because, in your room? Huh? Why not because in your room? We are men, men don't sleep together. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, you didn't know that now, you know. So, so, I would like us to go there and witness what this business is about. Because what we are talking about is just our experiences based on what we do with each other. Uh, but the entire organization's mission is going to be shared. And I think George, George, I know you haven't come on board. I'm going to, to ask you kindly to come with us to Texas on July 21st. And what that means is tonight, Anita, I'd like you to register jobs. We are what is on the 21st of August of July to the 10th of July. I'd like you to come and see what our organization is about, what we are doing, and what it really means. And I believe that when you leave Texas, you're going to come back and change a lot of lives of everyone that we sit with, who, you, who does not interact with, who is seated behind their computer. <laughs> okay? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. So, so let's uh, first and foremost uh, give a, a round of applause to Michael. Uh, and, uh, because I've never had a chance. So, you know, one thing I learned is Michael's father is one of my favorite artists. And I had the opportunity to meet with the man. Can you imagine? You see, and uh, no, <laughs> is not his father. Actually, if you know Celeste, the Katongo Kamu singer. Hey, if you don't know, go Google. Now Google is our parent. Everything you don't know, go to Google. Put in Celeste. Or put in Musao, Celeste. You're going to see a song in front. That song, I played that song a hundred times. And then I had the opportunity to speak to his dad. One of my favorite artists, um, uh, Michelle wants to listen to the song. You will not make, you will not understand the word, <laughs> but you will see a video because when you see the video, it will make sense. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so, Michael, thank you so much for sharing that, and I would like to say thank you to Flores. Flores, Flores. Uh, I am going to sit here because I would like for you to see me. My name is Rogers Mianja. Uh, one, I'd like to say thank you to you for taking care of the children. You see, being in the diaspora is the most challenging uh, uh, situation for all of us. But uh, you know, we are always stronger when we know we have a partner we can count on. And I know that Michael is thriving wherever he is because of what you are able to do for him that way. So I want to say thank you from uh, all of us at BCFC because you gave us- uh, Even me. Oh, even, uh, <laughs> even Haman is saying thank you. <laughs> so uh, you shared your husband with us. Oh, Florence says thank you to Rogers and everyone who always standing with him. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you have shared your husband wholeheartedly with us. In uh, our ex one ex one business. Uh, uh, but he's an incredible person, very uh, well spirited, very intentional, and very supportive. And uh, I want to tell you, you have a very special husband. 
And uh, I know this occasion is uh, not yours, but I wanted to make sure I share that message because he, he means a lot to us. So we want to make sure you mean a lot to Of course, you already mean a lot. He means a lot to you, but uh, we want to make sure we wrap that as well in there. So uh, thank you, everyone, for making tonight a special for Michael. And uh, Michael, I look forward to growing with you in this organization. You see the beauty of this organization is Michael coming for my position that is not threatened to me. I know, right? You know, if we were working in a bank and I, I wanted to be a CEO or a bank manager, my manager would actually not be happy with me. But in my organization, I'm happy for everyone to become an SMB. Isn't that beautiful? Huh? Yeah. So this is an organization where we want to grow and thrive together. And uh, Michael, I like us to continue pulling everyone up where we are. Because success is only success when everyone is able to enjoy it. So let's do, continue doing the good work. Thank you so much. And uh, everyone, thank you so much. Now let's party. Go play some music. Glory is fine. Yes, you downstairs. Go downstairs. Finish your food. Let's go downstairs.